Hello, my name is Dan Oaks. I'm the creator of Cookin. And today I'm going to show you one of the cool new features that we added to Cookin version 16. You might notice when I launched this that uh, Cookin 16 sports a whole new visual style that really makes your recipe photos pop. I mean, as you notice, as you scroll down here, don't those recipe photos just really pop and part of that is because you know you're not competing with the um, colors on the toolbar so I think you're really gonna like this new look and feel but cooking version 16 is much more than just another pretty face wait till you see some of the new features that the cooking elves have added for example when you want to import a recipe from a photo or a scan or a screenshot right you click on this snippet tool and then you click up here where it says import scanned recipe and then you can select your recipe file, right? Here's my tortilla soup. And I just took a photo from a cookbook. And this is a good one. And I want to get this into cooking, right? And so normally what you do is you use this snippet tool. And the cooking elves translate this image to text. And then you can use the tool in cooking to select the recipe name and click name. And then cooking puts the name over here. And then you select the ingredients, but I noticed this ingredient got put above the name. And it's partly because of the way this is a two column image. And so, you know, the scan was good. It saved you from having to type it in. Actually, I might even put this um, cheddar cheese on the same line here. It wrapped, but anyways, right. So what you would do in cook in version 15 is select the ingredients and click this ingredients button and then they fill in here and populate. And then you would go and select the directions here and click directions, right? And then cook and puts the directions there. So it's not an exact science, um, but you know, it sure saves you from having to type it. So that's a pretty cool feature and a lot of people use this because it saves a lot of typing time. And when you're done, you just click save and new and then you can move on to the next recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna do that same thing again, tortilla soup. Only this time, I'm going to use the new Elf Magic Scan feature in Cooking version 16. Elf Magic in progress. Your recipe is being lovingly decoded by tiny culinary wizards. Oh, what? What is this Elf Magic we're talking about? What does it mean it's being decoded? Whoa! What just happened? The Cooking Elves put the name where it goes. Oh, they got the description. They put the ingredients here. They put the directions here. They even got the prep time and the cook time and the serving size right. What? They did that all automatic. I got to see this. Using a saucepan. Wow. That's amazing. I didn't have to highlight and click and select. I just click one button and the cooking L's. I got to see this again. Okay, I'm going to click next. Okay, let's try this again. I'll choose a different recipe. How about this taco soup recipe? Taco soup, okay. Elf magic scan. The elves crack open their spell book. Your recipe is being enchanted into digital perfection. Oh, no way. So you're telling me all I got to do is select the image and then let the elves do the rest? Oh my gosh, this is, oh my gosh. This is blowing my mind. Prep time, 15 minutes. That's not even part of this recipe. It doesn't even have a prep time here. Cook time, six to eight minutes. Serve six. Oh, it does say serve six to eight here. This is amazing. Brown ground beef and chopped onion. Oh my goodness. Like my mind is blown right now. The cooking elves, I'm telling you, they never cease to amaze me. I think you're going to love cooking version 16. I can't wait for you to give it a try and let me know what you think. Oh, baby. Woo! Hope you love it.